Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Dad's Kitchen. I'm Austin Sutton, and I'll come back to you today to bring you a recipe, lasagna roll. So it's real simple, and we're gonna get started with it right now. Now, let me show you. You're gonna get two pounds of ground beef, but you can use sausage. But if you use sausage, some people use, don't use sausage, and some use um, just beef. But this is simple because I'm having people over um, some people don't eat pork, there's no problem. What I'm gonna do is add a little sage in it to get that little taste for the pork, and it's good to go. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this going. Just like that. Aha. And then I'm gonna do two cloves of garlic. A oregano, two spoon of sage, two spoon of black pepper, and I'm gonna do a teaspoon of salt. Now, what I want to do, I want to just season the meat, you know, like I always told you, when you do your meats first, always remember to go ahead and season it up. The vegetable comes last because the vegetables can dilute and just dissolve and it won't be as good as crisp like I want it to be to give that flavor. You'll see what I'm talking about. So, go ahead and um, while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and brown this on up and I'm going to get back with you in a couple more minutes when I get it all together. All right. So now I got my meat just about where I want it, okay? Kind of brown it up, but I don't want it hard now, remember? Now what I'm gonna do, this is one whole onion. Slice it up, and you can slice it the way you want it. Go ahead and get that, or the saute that, and then what I'm gonna do, incorporate it with the meat. Let it go ahead and get that flavor on in there. Put some spices in there. And you can give a little taste to your meat, and make sure you got enough spice in it, um, you know, as you go. I want my vegetables in just like that. Okay? So now, once I've done this, I'll give it a few, couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start it in my sauce. Okay? First thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and put one can of tomato paste. Small can of tomato paste. The ingredients will be on the down below the video. Take about, that should be six ounces of uh, paste. Okay? And then you can just pick what you want. Any kind of spaghetti sauce that you particularly want, just do it, that's fine. I'm gonna put the sauce in there. Now what I did, I just filled this up with water. One jar of the water, and add into it. Now you can add more liquid to this, you know, as you go. But me, I wanna go ahead and just cook this down and see what it is, because I kinda want this to be a little thick for what I'm about to do with this uh, lasagna roll. So it's gonna be a little different. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and cook down a little bit and let it thicken up. Also, let me show you something. A little secret on this too. With the tomato paste and the tomato sauce that we have in here. Sugar, I'm not trying to make it sweet. Remember I always tell you, because of the acidity that's in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put um, a tablespoon of sugar, okay? And it's not gonna make it sweet, but it's gonna make a balance on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it cook down and I'm gonna give it a taste. It might, and that should take care of the acidity. There we go. Got the basic feeling for the lasagna roll. So now I'm gonna go ahead and let that go ahead and simmer down for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Then I'm gonna come back to you and then we're gonna get those uh, lasagna roll rolled out as I, I always do. You know, I got my daddy I secret to it, but it's gonna come on a little later. But you know how we're gonna do. If we we're on that journey for the taste. So, all right, I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, I'm back now. What I did, I went back and tasted meat, just like I told you. Go and taste it and see what you need. Mine's with the two pounds of ground beef. It wasn't thick enough for me for what I want to do. So I added another two pounds of ground beef to this. Let me show you how it came out. Now I got it like I want it. Now, it's up to you how many people you're serving or what you're doing. It depends on, you know, how much meat you use. So for me on this, what I got to do today, I had to add more ground beef. So just keep that in mind. What I showed you the first recipe of, of two pounds, if that's enough for you, fine. You can always add more meat to it. And that's what I did. And after tasting, I also needed more salt. So I'm gonna do another tablespoon of salt, all right? And then I'm also gonna put a tablespoon of onion powder. And that should do it. So that's a good thing about going back Tasting your food and make sure everything's there that you need. So this should be perfect, just right now. Now look at that, boy, look at that. This is gonna be perfect for the filling for the lasagna roll. 
All right, let me go ahead and get started showing you how to do the roll. And I'll be back with you. All right, now I got everything plated like I want to uh, show you how to do this lasagna roll. Da, 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 da. Look. So what I got here is the sauce, the meat sauce that I'm going to use for my filling. This is what I want. Just like that, okay? It's the consistency you want. Now, I also did the noodles. I went ahead and done my noodles and stuff. Let me show you. And they have dente, okay? That's how you want them. And then I'm also gonna show you, I'm gonna have to pat dry it to be able to do the rolls. So first step, let me just do this. Let me get some sauce. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the pan, just like this, okay? in the bottom of the pan, okay? And you'll see in a minute why. All right, so got that there. Now, in this step, we take the noodle out, okay? I'm gonna pet dry it, just like that. Now, I'm just gonna do a couple of these for you, and then I'll go ahead and do plate the rest of them. I'm gonna lay this on out, okay? Drain it a little bit. Just take your time. Just like that. And you mainly want to get the meat on this for the filling, okay? Kind of drain it out. What I have here is mozzarella and cheddar. This is the mozzarella. This is cheddar mixed with uh, Havarti cheese, okay? For the middle. And what you want to do for this you want to first put mozzarella in the middle. And the reason being is because it melts really good, okay? And I grated this. You remember I told you, you start using the block cheese and grate it? Okay. Now, after I put the mozzarella, then I'll put the habarte and sharp cheddar, okay? Just like this. And I'll be doing more of this. Let me show you this one. Now, this is the trick. What I used to do, just go real quick with it. You roll it, you hold it, and you put it in, just like this. Okay, this is messy, but it's fun. You can also get the family involved with this, your kids, or you just wanna do something with your, your spouse or friend, whatever. Again, put the, put the meat in the middle. And that's why I wanted to put more meat in it because you're gonna use all the sauce though. Okay. Okay, the mozzarella. Just put it on there just like that. Sharp cheddar, the rest of it. And just continue to do like this. And just roll it up real slight. Easy. It's gonna make a mess, but it's okay. Hold it, don't give up. go you have two this stuff that I'm what you see right here this is real and what I'm gonna do you put this on the next one what you got left here goes on the next new one let me show you and I'm gonna do one more to show you what I mean a little bit right here nothing goes to waste just like that that's what you want to do okay see nothing goes to waste this that's why I put this paper out because it's gonna be messy sometimes cooking is messy but it's gonna be delicious, like the day y'all taste. <laughs> so, put that in there. The mozzarella. Okay. Tomate and cheese. And you roll this up just like this. Okay. Again. Bam. Okay. You got three. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do this right here and get everything plated. And I'll show you when I get the final result and then we'll put the topping on before we're gonna up. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how this is looking. Now, this is how it should look, okay? You got your rolls. I know it's a little hard when you do it, it's gonna be messy, but I promise you, it's gonna be delicious. Now, look at my pan. You see how much I had left for this right here? Well, that ain't gonna go to waste. What you do, we're just gonna pour it over just like this. Look at that, hot. This pan, show you how I'm gonna do this, finish this off. Like that, y'all. Ha 
Ah! Put this on there like that. You give it a little tap so it go all through. Okay? These are little lasagna rolls. But I'm not finished yet. Now, let me show you what you're gonna do. After you get that, go ahead and spread that out just like that. I like to do my finishing touch. Now, you can do this or not, but what I'll do, I'm gonna put a little sprinkle of onion powder on there, just like that, okay? Again, with a taste. A little pepper, sprinkle on it just like that on top. And I like little parsley flakes, just a little, just a little on there, just, okay? Now, finishing this up, Go ahead and spread my little cheese, grated cheese on top of it. Man, look at this. And again, hit it down so the sauce goes down all the way through the middle. Okay? It's right here. Look at this. Look, look, look. And you know what I told you earlier. I'm not even finished yet. I told you. This is Daya Kitchen. And I'm gonna bring you the taste. And what I'm about to show you is a little secret weapon again. Da, 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 da. Bam! This right here is a double cheese sauce, okay? You can buy them, they come in containers just like this. Most times people put uh, cheese on the, um, the casseroles and whatnot like this. You watch, you take this, recipe again I'm bringing it to you I know it look crazy just trust what I gave you all the recipes I show you then I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of look at that hot to it. Woo. <laughs> and a little bit of pepper and there you go it's ready for the oven all right I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven when I come back I'm gonna show you the final result yes look at this what I'm talking about. This is what I'm bringing to you. Man, look at that. Lasagna roll. Bam! Damn! Now, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and play this. Just real simple to do this, but <laughs> I'm gonna do this live right now because we're gonna see how we're gonna get in here. Look at the crust. Look how it comes. Look how the other cheese melted in and will go in between the, the rolls. All right, here we go. Pull this back. Cut into it and let you see how it looks. Look at that. You see the sauce and everything is in there. You can't go wrong. There you go. Bam! Daya lasagna roll. This is something that you can really do at home. Take your time. It's gonna be a little messy. Don't give up. Have fun doing it. It takes a little time, but it is delicious. And I'm gonna give it a shot while we're talking. Let me taste this in front of you. Look at the mozzarella. See how the cheese? Look at this. This is delicious. 
taste the cheese, I taste the spices. It all goes together. And even the, no the noodle is seasoned. This is delicious. And then you have a complement it with the garlic toast. You can't go wrong. Daya, bringing the taste to you. Try this, let me know how you like it. Make sure you do the subscribe button for me. But as I leave, you all you know what I always say. Make sure you be kind to someone. Do something kind for them. That'll make them happy. It makes yourself happy. It makes the world a better place. We really need to do that. So saying that, peace. <laughs>